Imagine, you're 11. You go into Kmart and see this game sitting on the shelf. Intrigued, you buy it, go home, and pop into your dad's old laptop and install it. You load up the first level and start building up your village, and then, then you hear this. I feel a bit of rough and tumble. Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> Wait. What? What the fuck? Welcome to Beast and Bumpkin. Beast and Bumpkins is a single player real time strategy game developed by World Weaver Limited and published by everyone's favourite publisher, EA Games, in 1997 for Windows. Each level you get given different tasks to complete. This can be to collect a certain item, to kill a certain enemy or village, or make some mad bank. Each level, the player has to build up their village and grow their economy and population. You know, standard RTS stuff. However, unlike a traditional RTS, your villages function on a stage-based life cycle where they go from children to adults after which they retire and become pretty much useless before they eventually die. So why are the retirees useless? Well, not only do they quit their jobs, but when they die, there is a risk their corpses and cause the freaking plague, which if you don't manage to control it and have a priest cure your villages, will quickly end up ruining your day and cause you to fail the mission when all your villagers die. Also, the reason why I'm convinced only 12 people have probably played this game is because it's a real bitch to install on Windows 10. I reckon it took me close to a week of trying on and off again to get this game working. Also, fair warning, I was able to get this game to work for me, but even if you follow my guard 100%, it might just not work for you, because like I said, this game is a real bitch to install. As it's not on any digital platform such as GOG or Steam, I think it's safe to say this game is pretty much abandoned so feel free to download it from the link in the description. Anyways, here is the install guide. Alright, so after you've installed and unzipped all the files in the description, you're going to go to the ISO folder, mount the Q file. This is done so the game doesn't ask you for the CD constantly. You're going to go back to the RIP version. You want to run this as admin, the registry setup file. You're going to want to click yes. I've, I've already done it, so I'm going to click no. Then you want to go to the beast.exe file. You want to go to compatibility. You want to go run this program as Windows 95. You want to click apply. And you just run the file. Now, it looks like it's working. But in reality, the game's going to run like dog shit. Because once we load into the game, it's going to be really fucking laggy. So to fix that... Alright, so you're going to go copy this piece of bumpkins of DXW file into this folder here. And you're going to want to go to dxwnd.exe and run it as admin. You want to go File, Import. You want to import that file you just copied, the Beast of Bumpkins of DXW. You're going to go turn on Expert Mode. And you're going to want to go and Modify. And you want to go link up your Beast of Bumpkins .exe file. It's on the USB drive, so let's go back to the RIP file. There we go, Beast.exe. You're going to want to do the same thing for launch. All right. So click OK. And you're going to want to run. Booked. There we go. Now it's going to run in a window. And it should run much better. Yeah, you can see it's not lagging anywhere near as hard. And. If you want to, you can stretch it out. Play it a bit bigger, but I think if you stretch it out too much, it's just gonna lag. Anyways, that should be it. Let me know if it worked for you guys and give the video a like if it helped. Thanks.